Hello, my name is Specs. Um, I have a strat that I want to show here on the left side of GT. It's one that I came up with when I started racing Rando and had to learn how to do Red Boomerang in this room. Because the jet people normally use, for me, I found kind of hard at first. So I just decided to come up with my own strat that I thought didn't suck. Because the current strat, it's actually a good strat. I just was worse at the game when I first started and I didn't want to learn it. Uh, but the strat that people normally use to hit the switch here uh, with the Red Boomerang is something like this. They do that. When well executed, it looks more like this. Nope. Give me a moment. We'll get it. Like that. I got a 459. You can get that a bit faster. Um, but typically, if you don't, if you execute it decently, it's probably going to take you about 5 seconds. Worst case, maybe like 5 and a quarter seconds. But that does involve not doing, you know, this mistake of throwing the boomerang into the wall and positioning yourself properly. Um, so I don't do it that way. The strat I do, I instead throw the red boomerang to the left side of the room and I have the red boomerang hit the left switch. So it looks more like this. You can see there, I got a 431. And in my opinion, what I just did in that room looked like I did a lot less inputs and a lot less precise positioning than the current strap that uses Red Boomerang. Um, which is why I came up with the strap in the first place, was because the first the other strat, I found it annoying trying to position for the upright angled boomerang and then walk down to the right. I'm like, that seems like a pain. Was mine was like just aim left, walk down. Of course you have to know where to stand when you throw the boomerang. But I promise it's actually a lot more lenient than you might expect. And it's also really easy to throw the boomerang again because it bounces off the pots immediately if you fail it. So the way, I, the way you do it is if you're back here, the red boomerang, if you're, this, if you're this high in the pot, your boomerang actually goes through them. If you're like a pixel lower, it won't go through. So like here is the lowest you can be and your red boomerang goes through. So, this won't be any lower than this, and your boomerang goes through the pots. Uh, and then once you've thrown it, you just walk down. If you're way too high when you throw the boomerang, then when you walk down, it won't hit the switch in time. You can see it almost hit there, but not quite. So you just got to make sure that you're not too high. You can see I was actually pretty high there, and it still worked out. But yeah, you just do that. I got 431 there. It's actually pretty lenient. It's faster than the current strat. I think it is easier to execute. Um, the main caveat of this strat that is, does not exist with the current pipe of the Red Boomerang strat is that if the Stalfos that's known in here that I currently have killed off, if it gets to be on the left side of the room, like in between the pots and the left side switch, then it will block your Red Boomerang when you throw the Red Boomerang and you should, it won't work. You know, your boom is going to bounce off the Stalfos. So what I recommend is, uh, I think people should use the strat where you throw the red boomerang to the left, hit the left switch because it's faster. I think it's easier and more consistent as well. But if you get the bad RNG where the Stalfos is on the left side of the room, it, and it's going to block your red boom, then just go for the standard, throw the red boomerang to the top right, walk down strat, you know, the one I showed you at the beginning, and then you have to deal with the Southwest RNG. So you can just react to the situation and do the one that's faster. But generally, uh, you should do the Red Boomerang to the left a little bit faster. And thank you.